fans are getting to fever pitch. Moments away, and it's live. Yeah, it's a great day for football in this lovely stadium. I'm Martin Tyler, he's Alan Smith alongside me. We've got cup group action for you today. Benfica against Augsburg. Well, the fans have certainly turned up for it. They're expecting entertaining contest ahead of them here, and I am as well. We've got so many talented players down there. Penalty at Saint-Étienne. It's a penalty for the visitors. He's put the ball down on the spot. He steps up to take it. It's off the bar and over. Two minutes played. It remains nil-nil. That's Alan McAnally keeping us bang up to date. And this is the team Benfica are going to field today. Grimaldo starts alongside Andre Almeida in defence, and it's rounded off the team with these two strikers. At the Vesa Stadion today is Alan McAnally with some goal news. It's a goal for the visitors. Seven minutes played, 1-0. And we're back here again, thanks to Alan McAnally. Good work, really, to read the intention of the pass. Augsburg... This is their team. Thomas Kobeck is in goal. Daniel Bayer starts alongside Mikhail Gregoric there in midfield. But they just go with the one striker up front. Continue to knock the ball around, looking for the opening. There's still danger here after this half clearance. Jensen. It's good attacking play this from them. towards the far post. He's angry with the assistant, and I must say these officials are very good indeed, and I think they've probably got that offside call right as well. Yeah, I think when he looks back at the replays tonight, he'll accept that uh, he did go just a little bit early, not by much, but he was off. Chance to get the ball in the box. Really away from the threat here. Well, it is a mistake, but they've got the ball, they could be in now. Just throwing his chance now to go ahead. He's one I know Alan's keeping an eye on here. And it's the speed of the of... that's something for him to chase. The ball glued to his boots, it seems. Excellent work. Let's hear from Alan McAnally with news of a goal in the Leipzig game. It's a goal for the home team, 20 minutes played, 1-0. Top work, Alan. We're back here now with Alan Smith. This could be a chance. Goalkeeper can only parry it out. Apologies to Alan McAnally for actually intervening there. Confirmation for you of the Leipzig goal in that game. Ben Bogerson! Still heading for goal. And he did well to get to the ball first. That's the best I can say. Rafa. Quick witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. Very good attack, broken up in the end by good defensive play. Jivkovic. Opportunity here with some space to work the ball into. Must take the lead here. Excellent work from the keeper. And here comes the corner. Put away, but not out of harm's way. To put them in front. Now he's got the ball. What's he going to do with it? Chance to cross it. Easy. Tackling is a real skill. Pizzi. Now he wants to take them off. Pizzi! Good save by the keeper. Penalty at Hecafe. It's a penalty for Leon. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. He steps. Real opening now. A real chance. Over the bar and the chance is gone. Rafa. 
We did have to cut short Alan McAnally a few minutes ago. Lyon have missed a penalty. Just time to confirm that for you. The score remains, I can confirm, nil-nil. We have news of a goal from the Lazio game. This could be it. Ben Bogerson! And he scored! Well, they were caught out here by this quick counter-attack against the run of play. Yeah, I mean, they had to uh, stick together there and come under a lot of pressure, but with the pace in the team, that was always likely. And that has opened the scoring, 1-0 here. And the pass not completed, really. to run at them with the ball, it's good to see. A couple of teammates up in support. And safe hands from the goalkeeper there, not the most demanding save, but it had to be made. Yeah, easy though, to take it a little easy, take your eye off the ball. Pizzi. Gone on one possession back with that tackle. So it's 1-0 here as the half-time whistle goes. just checking everything is in order and he blows for the second half to start Jensen it's always Alan McAnally is out and about for us and he's seen the sending off today it's a red card for the home team they're down to 10 men 47 minutes playing it remains nil nil that's Alan McAnally keeping us bang up to date An attack that wasn't quite that in the end. A little surprise, the visit probing the pass. Goal news from the Lazio match from Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Lazio. 51 minutes played, 2-1. Thanks, Alan. Well, we'll follow that with interest. Lovely, incisive pass. The equaliser here. And the goalkeeper will get this one, no problem. Apologies to Alan, just had to cut him short there because of what's happening in front of us in this game. Lazio did score in that game, we can confirm that. The scoreline in that game is now 2-1. Ben Bogerson! That is a startling save. That's all about reactions and agility. Zivkovic. Lost the ball. Into the attacking third. And our man out and about today in the Alfonso Perez Stadium, actually, is Alan McAnally, and he's seen a goal, Alan. It's a second goal for Hitafi. It's a good hit. They really had a go in the quest for this equaliser, Alan. Yeah, it was a half-decent chance, maybe snatched at it a touch. It's the attacking midfield player who's coming off now, Alan. Yeah, and it's been a good day for him. We know he loves to get forward, and he's done that. He's used the ball well, and uh, rightfully gets a good ovation. We did cut across Alan McAnally. Apologies for that. It's not something we want to do, but Hetafe have scored in that game. Apologies, Alan. We'll be back to you shortly. The score is now 2-0. Well, now they've got the ball. What are they going to do with it? Zivkovic, gone in a bit crudely, I think, with that one, but they've kept the ball. Referee says, play on. That's the way to win the ball back. Alan McAnally is our man at the Donbass Arena today. And news of a goal, Alan. It's a goal for the home team. Guiding the pass through. Well, what a lovely through ball that was, Martin. Perfectly weighted and beautifully finished. It is uh, level. Go 
Both sides have scored here now. Well, sorry that Alan McAnally couldn't finish his update there. Just to confirm for you, the home team did score in that match. They are winning 1-0. Certainly playing well enough to get their noses in front here. You can see what he was trying to do with the cross, but it's a goal kick. Happy days for these fans. Oh, without question, there's only one winner in this match, although we've got a little bit of time left, but they played really well. It's a heavy touch. They could be in behind the back line. Over to Alan McAnally now with a goal to tell us about from the Red Bull Arena. It's a second goal for the home team. 72 minutes played. 2-0. Interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. Saw the free kick given by the referee. And the defending team might be in trouble. They might regret conceding this. Clearly a booking. Out comes the yellow card. Well, he reached straight for his pocket. He didn't really think about it, but I think that's the good call. Well, they've got to get this wall right, Martin, because he can be deadly from this range. Well, he has gone for goal, but you wouldn't really know it looking at it again. Well, well away from the target. No, he won't want to see that one back later tonight. Rafa. Have a look at what's on now from this wide position, not closed down. To go in from here. Well, he's for goal. Taking it on the fall to score. Well, it's a fantastic strike, so spectacular. Sight, this is the fans are going wild. It was a great example of timing and agility. Off we go again, 2 1. Goal news from Old Trafford, Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Manchester United, 79 minutes played, 3 0. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. And the ball's got away from him. And we have nine remaining minutes. Getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away. Gregoric! Really at the extent of his reach to make that very fine stop. It's a corner right at the last here. He's put in the corner. Well, this could bring them level. He's gone in with the header. But the ball nowhere near going into the net. I think it's come off the top of his head, that one. The noise levels have gone up even more. And the scenario remains the same, the one goal lead, and we're into the last ten minutes. By the way, things are shaping up, it looks like the home team are going to see out this lead, but still a chance for things to change. All credit to him for taking that shot on, and he connected well enough. Well, he has got a strong shot, we know that, but not his best effort. Andrea Zivkovic, it's with Grimaldo, looking to use... The full width of the pitch in this attack. Jivkovic. It's a good ball, they could be in. And he's dispossessed. Florian Niederlechner. Easy. And they cut it out. It's over. And the referee 